welcome to another video so today in this particular video i will be discussing with you all gate excel that is gate life sciences chemistry analysis from the year 2011 to 2021 so this particular section as you all know is very very important for you to get a good score in gate now in chemistry not all the topics have been asked in gate there are certain topics that have higher weightage and if you are someone who has not done much chemistry and doesn't like chemistry this video will be really helpful because you will exactly know which topics you need to do and what in those topics you must do this will definitely be enough for you to crack the exam now there are a total of nine chapters in chemistry and we will go chapter wise i will tell you their weightages through the years 2011 to 2021 so without much further ado let's get right into the video so firstly in the chapter number one we have the atomic structure and periodicity now the weightage from 2011 to 2021 is as follows in the year 2011 we had questions worth two marks now in this i have clubbed both questions that have been asked for one mark and two mark so as you all are aware some questions ask are asked for one one mark and some questions for two marks so I have just clubbed it and given the total marks. So two marks, one mark, zero. That is in 2013, there were no questions asked from this topic. Similar for 15, 16 and 19. And other years, we had one, one question each asked from this particular unit. In 2020, two mark questions were asked. These are the marks and not the number of questions. Okay. So two means there was two mark questions that were asked. Then the second unit is the structure and bonding. So in structure and bonding, you can see that throughout the years, we have questions from it. So it's a compulsory topic where we have some or the other questions and the marks is also pretty high. So leaving 2015 and 2016, we see that two mark worth questions are definitely asked every year. And in 2019, you had three marks questions. So three marks means that one question had come for two marks and one question was there for one mark. Next unit is the S, P and D block elements. So mostly the periodic table related questions. Those have also been asked for quite some marks leaving 2015 and 16. So in 2014, we had four mark worth questions. That is two questions of two marks each. Then in 2011, two marks and 2012, again, two marks. And 2013, 20, we have 20, uh, one mark question. And last year's paper, you had three question, three mark questions. That is one two mark question and one one mark question. Then next chapter, we have chemical equilibria. Again, a question that is asked every year. One question is at least asked from this particular topic. Next topic we have is electrochemistry. Electrochemistry is one topic which has been asked most of the times leaving 2011, 14 and 16. The other majority times it's been asked for one mark. Then you have chemical kinetics, again a very, very important unit. Now chemical kinetics is not only important in terms of chemistry, but you should also know it for biology because enzyme kinetics is a major chunk that has been asked in most of the exams. Not only Kate, but PSIR and BARC also. So therefore, you should focus on the kinetics part, first order reaction, second order reaction, effect of catalyst. If you want to know which particular parts in each chapter you should focus on, then stay tuned till the end of the video. I will be telling you those as well. Now, next unit, thermodynamics. Again, very, very important, clearly evident from the years distribution right from 2011 to 2021 we have one question at least from thermodynamics section so again a topic that you cannot skip then you have organic reaction and mechanism this is the BAP chapter kind of because you have majority of the questions coming from this section again it is uh, majority one of the other reason is because there are a lot of concepts you need to cover in this and your knowledge about chemistry should be actually in depth in order to solve questions from this. 
if it is not the case with you don't worry at all i'm going to come up with a series for gate chemistry i have already posted two videos and both are related to the organic reaction and mechanism topic so if you want to start your preparation right away i would definitely suggest you to watch that video and stay tuned with me till the series i'll make sure that all your topics for chemistry have been covered so from 2011 to 21 major times you have five mark worth questions asked from you so it can be like four uh, three questions for one mark and one question for two mark or two questions of two mark each and one question of one mark or maybe all questions for one mark also usually the two mark questions are calculation based and are and they usually come from chapters like kinetics electrochemistry etc then last chapter that is not a very important one and it's been recently asked is biomolecules i wouldn't actually consider it much and you know spend a lot of time in it while i'm doing chemistry it will be a topic that will gradually get covered when we do the first unit with respect to the syllabus that is in biochemistry so all the essential topics that you would require to know you will understand from that section also only in the past year we had two uh, questions asked from this section previously this topic was not asked so these are the nine different topics in case you want this mark sheet uh, this mark analysis distribution pdf you can download it from the description you can also join my telegram link where there are other pdfs also so you can join those links or you can click on the description down below for the pdf now coming to the second half where i will tell you the analysis so as evident from whatever i said ma maximum of the questions they have come from organic chemistry and mechanisms as you seen four marks three marks etc very least from the biomolecules maximum two marks questions were asked from three chapters now this is something that you may not understand from the analysis but when i was going through the paper i saw that two mark questions were asked from topics like spd block elements chemical equilibria and organic chemistry so something to focus for the two mark section are these particular chapters so that's about the analysis now in every particular unit there are certain topics that you should cover so if you want to know those stay tuned for the next video do subscribe to my channel and if you like the information please hit the like button i'll see you in my next video Bye